Hello, beautiful people, and welcome to another video with your girl, Siobhan. Welcome back. Welcome back. Thank you so much for clicking on another video. I know we're all busy. It is the holiday time, the holiday season, and I am in full go mode. Yes, I am. <laughs> this month, um, actually, December is going to be super busy for me, not only doing Vlogmas, um, doing my regular content with cleaning and so forth, but also I have a three week long training session that I'll be facilitating as well, along with two of my other coworkers. So it's just gonna be super busy. It goes all the way until December 17th, which is right around the holiday, so I know I'm gonna be super busy. But I have a grocery haul here for you guys. I went to Walmart and I picked up some stuff from Walmart for the family. But the reason why I went to Walmart is because, let me show you real quick. Okay, this is why I went to Walmart. So these bins are actually, um, I got two of these bins. They were $20 a piece. And that is actually to put some of my um, porch decor and so forth, porch, porch stuff in there and store that because it is now winter. It's time to get rid of that. But while I was there, I picked up gifts for four of my nieces and my nephew as well as I bought some big ticket items for my kids that they requested it's all the way in the bottom they didn't they don't even know but I'm gonna take those out and you know store those where I need to store those but so first what I did I went into Walmart I picked up uh, this stuff first packed it all up put it in the truck then I went back in and I did my grocery um, groceries and I only needed a few things from Walmart like I always do. Guys, I grocery shop all the time, so I don't do a really big like once a month um, grocery stock up or anything like that. I don't do that because I grocery shop all the month. I mean all month long because I have kids. Also, one of the perfect finds that I found was I bought a deep freezer and I did speak to someone. I do not have the plugs that I have in the basement are used for my washer and dryer. And then I have a, what is it called? A dehumidifier down there too. So there's no extra plugs where I can plug in a deep freezer, but I did talk to someone who uses an extension cord to, um, you know, plug in their deep freezer. So that's what I'm going to do. I have the perfect plan. So I did get a deep freezer and I'm super excited about that. And then I'll be able to put that in a basement and store some extra meat. I just want to be able to store some extra meat and maybe some bread and maybe maybe one or two gallons of milk. You know, something like that. So needless to say, this is really why I went to Walmart, guys. But this also, so I've been wanting to get one of these. I've been wanting to get one of these for a while. And I kept putting it off and putting it off. I'm like, no, no, no. But I feel like my time for this is coming to an end so I want to <laughs> I definitely wanted to get one and the twins are seven I feel like they're going to oh her skirt is not included I just saw that I'm gonna have to get one for her but I feel like they're going to really enjoy this so I picked that up and then I got like I said some big ticket items for the kids that they asked for like the most expensive things on their list yes so now let's hop into the grocery so I was completely out of fruit in the house and um, <laughs> that is just a no-go for us. They, the kids eat fruit every single day. You will, before I go on, let me just say this. Before you go to judge me, please judge yourself. Before you decide to type your negative comments or why did you buy that? Or you have too much of this and X, Y, and Z. Stop. Stop what you're doing and judge yourself. Okay. All right. Now. That, that disclaimer is over let's hop back into the hall and i just noticed how bruised that apple is dang it anyway that's gonna be one of the ones that i cut up first so i got some strawberries walmart strawberries was looking like who did it and why so i picked up one large pack of strawberries and two of their smaller packs um because they were looking like somebody just ran a truck over them and packaged them up and put them back in there i picked up two what are these um green peppers some blueberries, some green grapes, a bag of green apples, and then I always grab the 2% milk. If you're wondering, that is clean clothes over there that will get folded today. I'm doing a whole, I got a whole bunch of stuff to do, so <laughs> it's, it's on my list. 
So I got two gallons of 2% milk. I picked up some Aunt Jemima original syrup and I actually have syrup in the cabinet, but you know, just, I don't like to run out. So I picked up two of those. There's another one. I picked up some of the mandarin oranges. The kids really like these. And these are actually a really nice size. These are pretty big. So I picked up some shrimp poppers and I like to throw these in the air fryer for myself every now and then. And they're just a snack size and they're like a dollar and I don't know, like a dollar and 80 cent or something like that. I picked up some fish sticks. The kids really like those. I picked up some of the Jimmy Dean's croissants, the sausage, egg and cheeses. I figured if, um, again, they still have school for a while and that might be a good little substitute for a breakfast or lunch. So I grabbed that. I grabbed some of the Jet Puffed Fun Marshmallows. Um, the kids, I don't have a coffee bar station and I was looking in my kitchen to see if I could do something, something small on a smaller scale. And um, they do love the marshmallows with their hot chocolate. I, I meant to say hot chocolate. So I picked up some of those. These are just gummy bears because you should never go grocery shopping when you're hungry, even though I, I, I have no desire to eat these, believe it or not. Um, my mouth still hurts, but in the moment while I was shopping, I did grab them. So um, that'll be like an incentive maybe for the kids to clean up and you know do what they need to do anyway i picked up this cajun style chicken and shrimp healthy choice bowl and then i picked up this healthy choice broccoli beef and broccoli and then this is the chicken and vegetable stir fry so sometimes when i am you know working and helping the kids out with school and so forth i might make them lunch but i might not want to eat what they're eating so i picked up those i've never tried any of those but i'm open to trying them i did pick up the ready whip and every now and then i'll add that on top of my coffee and believe me when i tell you that's going to be gone in a, in a minute because yeah <sighs> when you have kids i swear they touch everything i picked up some caramel dip um for the apples for the kids they come in the single pack so you get six of them in a pack I think I have like maybe two or three um, pouches left in the refrigerator and they don't eat those all the time with their apples, but they are, it's there if they want to eat them. And I only get it around this time anyway, like uh, the fall and so forth. So I picked up a can of pineapples and then I bought some of the deep dish mini pizzas. So I bought the plain and let's see, I bought some marshmallow fluff. The kids, where did they go? They went over their aunts, I believe. And they had that with um, some, some Nutella. And yeah, yeah, they want that. They wanted that. So I picked that up for them. I did buy me an onion. I needed another onion. So I picked that up. And then I bought some Nora rice sides. So this is the chicken. I just bought two of those. And I bought two of the cheddar and broccoli. I just bought a bag of the mini sweet bell peppers and that'll be for cooking. I start, I couldn't find like the three pack like I normally buy. Um, just a lot of things were sold out. So I just picked these up with the two green um, peppers as well. So, and then I picked up this Velveeta skillets, chicken Alfredo. You know, the kids like that. I know chicken Alfredo is super easy. Uh, it just is, but I don't mind buying that every now and then. Then I needed to get me some more vegetables. So I picked up five bags of the broccoli and cauliflower. One, two, three, four, five. And then I picked up five bags of the mixed vegetables. And those are just going in the freezer. I try to make sure that I have a vegetable with every single meal, as well as, um, you know, a side and a meat. That's just how, how we do it. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, so I did pick up some marshmallows. This is for one of our little projects that we're going to be doing. So that's why these are a bigger size marshmallow. You know, you wouldn't necessarily put these in your in your hot chocolate. Um, I picked up some baked cheese curls, two bags of those, and a bag of the extra thin pretzels for them. And a lot of this stuff is going to be for like lunches, 
you can kind of see where where it's going like what's for dinner and what's for lunch what's for breakfast and so forth so then i picked up this one this is a deep dish pepperoni mini pizzas you get four in here and four in the other box we had ham uh -oh, we had ham over my mother's house for thanksgiving and it, there was really none left so i just had a taste for ham but i didn't want to buy a whole ham so i just picked up two of these and these are the smithfield anytime boneless ham steaks and these were kind of expensive i usually get these from aldi which is much more um, reasonable but this is 351 and the other one i think was yeah 304 you want to say hi hello i just washed up you just washed up again yeah no the first time i didn't wash up oh okay you just changed your clothes Okay. Um, are y'all done cleaning up that room? Are you sure? Yes, ma'am. I'm really sure. Those okay. All the clothes are right there. But can I ask you something? No, give me one second to finish up this video, okay? okay. All right. I picked up two bags or um, two loaves of bread, the honey wheat, and some boneless chicken breast tenderloins, or not boneless, but chicken breast tenderloins, a bag of their chicken drumsticks, and then I picked up some Danimals, some Nesquik for their chocolate milk. I've never bought these before. This is the um, Kraft macaroni and cheese. You get four in here, but I figured that this might make a good um, lunch for the kids too. I don't know. I'm I'm not sure, but I figured I would try it. I've never bought bought it like that before. So then um, the kids asked, "Could I have dessert tonight with Sunday dinner?" So I just bought this. I don't. I've never tried it before. It's monkey bread. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if you've ate if you if you ate it before and you think it's good or you've bought something similar to this, let me know. But this is just going to be dessert with Sunday dinner. <laughs> and then these are one of the kids favorites. You get 40 pouches in here. The Black Forest Juicy Burst. They sell these at Aldi and at Aldi. I think I pay five dollars or something too. in Walmart. It was five something. So I figured, you know fairly reasonable right i'm probably going to do an aldi what is it um instacart again uh because there are some things that i want to get from aldi but your girl did not feel like heading over to aldi because once i did the gifts and then i did some of the grocery shopping your girl was done right i was done so i just picked up a six pack of ginger ale and <laughs> Y'all know I love ginger ale. I need to, I need to stop drinking. It is so hard. I've been drinking diet ginger ale for the most part, but they did not have any more diet ginger ale, which blows my mind. Like who else is drinking diet ginger ale? The kids think it's the nastiest thing in the whole entire world. And usually my family kind of looks at me crazy when I say I'm drinking diet ginger ale. Anyway, anywho, so I just picked up that six pack. This is one of the kids... Um, kind of like favorite yogurts. This is the Yo Crunch low fat yogurt, and they have an Oreo and M and M, and yeah, they kind of go crazy for this. So <laughs> I picked that up. Walmart had these um, fleece throw blankets for two dollars and fifty cent, and so I picked this one up for Leah, who is our dog. If you don't know, she is a little Chihuahua, and see how it has like the fire hydrant and stuff on it, sit and so forth. The paw so i picked that one up for her and then i just picked up another one to throw in the basket in the kitchen no i'm about to say kitchen in the living room so that you know when we watch movie night and stuff there's always enough blankets for everyone i picked up a big bottle of dawn dish detergent 56 ounces that's like my new thing now i don't yeah i like to buy dawn and then i also like to buy the mrs myers and I, I just try and buy the big bottle because, guys, I use a lot of dish soap. If you see me wash dishes, you know. And, <laughs> yeah, it, it, I don't think it'll change anytime soon. So I bought some Tropicana um, orange juice, 100% orange juice, no pulp. Who likes pulp in their orange juice? Let me know down below. I'm just curious. <laughs> and then I bought two of the V8 Splash Berry Blends. The kids really like, love these. And then two of the mango peach and i bought these are some hair clips for myself because i'm about to take out my hair and i'm going to just wear it out for a while i'm not going to put any um, extensions in here so excuse me i wanted to get these hair clips for myself so that i can style my hair 
And then I picked up another curling iron, just something simple. This is a one inch curling iron. I couldn't remember if I had a one inch or not, but I picked this up. If I do, I'll just return it. And I bought another flat iron. This is just a Remington flat iron. I think this was like 17 or $18. And I already bought some heat protectant and for my hair and um, some other stuff, like some shampoo leave-in conditioner and stuff like that. So then I bought a new shower curtain because if you saw in my previous hauls, I have um, decor for the bathroom. So I want to decorate the bathroom. Probably like the beginning of December, I'll decorate the bathroom, but I wanted to get a new shower curtain because it's time. I like to change the shower curtain like once a month. And these are what, $3 I think at Walmart. And usually I, I try to keep extras, you know, so who wants to remember to buy a shower curtain all the time? I know I don't. And then I bought these French toast sticks and I just bought two boxes of these. Um, all the kids like these and this will be breakfast one one morning, one school morning. This will be breakfast with um, some fruit and maybe a yogurt or something like that. And they are happy guys when I tell you. I bought some family size rice checks because we will probably make this right here, this Muddy Buddy, something like that. But also, I don't know if you like who else is like this, but I love a good crunch. Like I love things that you could just crunch on. It doesn't have to have a lot of flavor or anything like that. Um, that is why I love rice cakes and um, just things that you can kind of crunch on. I haven't been able to do that with my mouth being messed up, but I go back to the dentist December the 3rd and I'm looking so forward to just feeling like myself. Like, I've never experienced mouth pain before in my entire life like this. This is crazy. This is crazy. It has thrown off my whole month of December, guys. My whole month of December. So that is everything that I picked up from Walmart. Yes. Yeah, this is everything I picked up from Walmart. Again, I am going to clean out my refrigerator. I need to do that. And I need to organize the pantry as well and when I tell you that so I was about to say when I tell you that I have stuff in here I have I have stuff in here so like a big bag of chicken and yeah your girl your girl has meat your girl has food in here so I didn't need a lot of meat products it may look like a lot of junk and not you know that's perfectly fine like I said guys judge yourself <laughs> anyway so I'm gonna get ready to clean out this refrigerator yes it's looking a mess I'm not even embarrassed want to know why because I'm going to clean it up <laughs> I'm going to clean it clean it clean it they still have like a pretty good amount of their snacks they got pudding they have one more of that caramel dip they have the um, cheese sticks they have apple sauces and so forth and yeah that's just stuff from our leftover Thanksgiving dinner you know how kids spill stuff and so forth oh, i did buy this from walmart too guys i threw this in the refrigerator really quickly this is the banana pudding no one made this for thanksgiving this year and i really wanted to get a taste of it so this is the um, patty labelle thanksgiving i mean thanksgiving the patty labelle pudding so i'm going to try that while they do their little monkey whatever it's called monkey monkey pie i don't even know monkey something <laughs> so I'm going to get ready um, I'm going to clean out the refrigerator and then put this food up this is what I have been drinking the Canada dry zero sugar ginger ale and it was so funny because I tell the kids don't touch my stuff don't touch mommy's stuff well little Chris took one of these and Kinsley told me he took one and I was like why you touch my stuff and he was like mom I'm sorry that was so nasty it's not nasty to me don't touch my stuff also, if you're wondering about the water filter, don't. There's no water line to this refrigerator, so it does not make ice and it does not dispense water. So that's why I don't care about the filter. <laughs> so you don't have to let me know about that. I, we're, we're perfectly fine, perfectly safe. So <laughs> I need to get this refrigerator together, get that food put up and tackle the rest of my list. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I love you guys to the moon and back and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye. Here is the refrigerator and freezer. It's jam-packed. I need to organize my freezer again. I'm not even going to do it. Anytime soon, I just stuck the sandwiches over here. 
Sure did. <laughs> and let's see. So I have the milk, the orange juice, some pink lemonade, and then I got the fruit back there. That's the dinner that we had. The kids added their little stuff in here. And then I put some of the other stuff at the bottom. But that's about it. I didn't even eat this. I didn't even eat that. So probably eat that tomorrow, I guess. We'll see. Yeah, that's what happens when you go to the grocery store hungry. You start picking up on stuff. I mean, picking up stuff. So that is it. Dinner was a success. And now I'm getting ready to call it a night. <laughs>